you are welcome to Remy Trade Academy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the trailing stop order right here on Binance Futures to trail your profits and how to actually use it as a stop loss. All this in today's video. So ensure you watch the video to the end. If you are new to the channel, please help subscribe to the channel and hit that like button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. Trailing stop order is type of stop loss order that automatically follows your position if the market rises or falls and remains in position if the opposite happens in the market. What does that mean? Right here on Binance features, let's say for example you take a buy position or a long position in the market and you want to take a trailing stop first of all what you do is that you will first of all place a market order or a limit order for that position and then you come back and set a trailing stop for a short position for that very particular position i'm going to explain everything in detail in this very video so trailing stop orders we have buy or long trailing stop order and then we have sell or short trailing stop order as well on binance features so i'm going to take an example on how to place this trillion stop order. So let's say right here on Binance Features, I want to use high the leverage 15x and then I want to use market order first of all. And then I have to place an order for buy BTC USDT perpetual features contract right there on Binance. So I'll go ahead and place a long position with this size. So I'll place the long position order executed. So right here, you can see the market is running here so if i want to place a trailing stop for this position then that means i have to place a short position for trailing stop for this very position remember i have to have the same leverage the same margin mode and the same position size so right here i will just go to this area where you have trailing stop here and then i will choose trailing stop then right here there are parameters for placing this trading stop we have number one here the callback rate the callback rate is a distance the trading stop follows your price and it's set based on percentage and it's also called the trade percentage what does that mean if this blue line right here is your trailing stop and then this is the market price so the trailing stop will be following the market price in case of a long position to the upside so let's say the market is moving up so the trailing stop move gradually with it so at some point if the market is turning back down this trailing stop will not go back down so therefore acting as a stop loss and then protect the profit you've made from where you open or enter the trade to this very Point. So that is how the trailing stop for a buy position work in the market. The same thing for a short position as well. Now, right here, you see the activation price. The activation price is the price that trigger the trading stop. So if I want to place a trailing stop for this very position right here down so all i need to do is to place a short position remember the activation price if it is left on field it means the market will assume the current market price if it is filled then it's going to feel depending on either you're longing or you're shorting the market so if you are shorting the market the activation price right there has to be below the current market price and if you are longing the market the activation price right here have to be above the current market price so for this example we want to place a trailing stop for this very position that means the activation price will be above the current market price but in this case i will just leave the activation price on field so that the market will assume the current market price for me so right here i'm going to choose the trading stop and then i will choose the callback rate to be two percent and then the activation price right here i will leave it on field now for example if the current market price here is 46 two, six, eight, and then i place it below the current market price let's say 45 zero, zero. You will see that the sell position will not be active, reason being that the activation price is below the current market price. That means if you want to place the activation price 
for a long position in this case the one we've already placed the activation price must be above the current market price in this case if i place here and i use 4700 you will see that the sell position will be active but for this example i want to leave the activation price on field that means the market will automatically assume the current market price which is 46 205 right here so i will go ahead and put the same quantity of bitcoin which is 0 0.002 and then i will go ahead and place the sell short for this very price so right here you see the confirmation order and then i'll place the short position so if you go back down here and you go to open order you will see the position right here for this very trade what will happen right here is when the market move in my favor in case of a buy remember the trailing stop is already at the current market price so the callback rate will move in in line with the market condition at two percent like i have just said okay so that is how you place a trailing stop for a buy position so i will go back here and cancel this order and then i'll go to position opening here and do the same let me take another example for a short position the same thing in the case of a short position if you want to set a trailing stop for a short position you have to first of all place a short position and then you come back again and place another long position for the trailing stop so what you do here is isolated margin and then i'm using 15x leverage market price and then i'm using 0.0 002 bitcoin as my size of my contract and then i will go right here and place a short position remember on the market price so when i place a short position here my order will be executed and you can see the order right here i'm already in position so if i want to set a trailing stop for this sell position i will go back and activate the trailing stop for a buy positions all i need to do for this very particular example is to go to trailing stop right here and then i will choose the callback rate to be two percent remember the callback rate should depend on number one your strategy and the coin you are trading that is the volatility of the coin in question so if i choose two percent for my callback rate here i will leave the activation price here on field so that means that it's going to assume the current market price now like i said earlier if you want to set the activation price for a short position it have to be below the current market price so right here if i place anything below the current market price which is 45000 you see the long position is open then if i put anything that is higher than the current market price for example 47 you see the this will not be active so when you are placing a trailing stop for a short position which we already enter here you have to ensure that the activation price is below the current market price reason being that the market is going to go down so that it's going to hit the activation price that is already set right down around this area depending on the price you are choosing so in this example i will leave the activation price on field and then i will put the size of the position which will be exact with the size of my short position right here and then right here i'm going to leave the activation price on field the callback right here is two percent and then i'm going to open a short position for my trailing stop orders and then i will click on buy long so right here you can see my open position for this order right here is already in place so when the market move right down this order will be activated at the current market price right here and the trailing stop will trade the position right down so that is how you place a trailing stop for buy and short position so i will go ahead and cancel this very particular order and then i will cancel this other one as well so that is how you place a trailing stop order on binance features remember the trailing stop order is used to lock in your profit and also it serves as a stop loss one of the disadvantage about the trailing stop is that the market can move a little bit up and then take you out of the market and still move in your direction so it must be set depending on your strategy and the 
coin in question so you have to look at the volatility of the coin and set it in line with it that is how you set a trading stock order on binance features if you are new to the channel please check all that informative and educational content on the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that like button and turn on the notification bell thank you for watching today's video and i will see you in the next video